Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video, so I apologize. Things have been absolutely crazy around here. But today I am making a resin bowl. Here is one that I recently did. And it's really easy to do. So today I am thinking about using a black um, chunky glitter. This is called Prism by Wicked Glitters and maybe mixing that wood white. So I think that would be an amazing contrast. And this one is called Breathless. It's an opal chunky. I love the opal. Um, it really reflects light so well. So I am going to be using a, I believe this is a 13 inch flat mold for this project today. And I've mixed 20 ounces for this bowl. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and separate the resin. I'm gonna pour half and half in these clear cups here for the mixing of the glitter in the colors that I want. Okay, now that I have separated my resin, I'm going to add in the glitter. So we're gonna start with Prism. And this is a beautiful purple black color. Put a little bit there. And with that, I'm gonna add black mica powder by Let's Resin. I don't have a rhyme or reason as far as how much I put in there. The more, um, mica powder you put the darker the resin's gonna be and then for this one we're gonna use breathless the opal chunky glitter look how beautiful that is if you wanted to add white to this you could um maybe we will do why don't we do a little bit of white ink just to give this a little bit of a, a white color so I'm just gonna do alcohol ink, a white alcohol ink. I'm just shaking it up really well. Just put a, a, a little bit of that in there. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix this up really well until you start to see the resin turn that dark color. And this is one reason why I'm using clear cups so I can see all of my resin to ensure that it's just mixed really, really, really well. Okay, both of these have been mixed really well. I did forget to mention that the resin I'm using is KS Resin. Uh, it's the Liquid Art Ultra UV Epoxy. And the reason why I'm using KS Resin is because it does have that UV protected in there so that it, the bowl or the resin piece will not start to yellow when it is exposed to sun. So I'm gonna take this now over to my mold and we're gonna start pouring. Okay, this is my 13 inch round mold. I just have some tape and I'm just picking up any um, hairs or dust or particles that may have fallen onto this. I am working on my floor uh, because the floor is the most level uh, place in my house. I don't have a really level um, table, so the floor is where I go. <laughs> and um, it's gonna sit down here and cure. There's a little piece there. Um, for, I have a little food tent, looks like this, that I cover it up with to keep any dust or particles from falling onto, onto it. So, I have laid some parchment paper up underneath just to protect my floor, even though my floor is already an absolute mess. And you can really start your design. You could use one color if you wanted to. Um, the bowl that I showed you in the beginning was a just a single color of purple, but in this instance, we're going to use two colors. So I'm going to start with my black, and just pour it down into the center, and then I'm going to switch over to my white now and pour it around the edges.
getting as close to the edge as I can. And I'm going to use all of my white around this edge. You could put some in the very, very center. But for this look, I just want all of my white on the outside or the edges of the bowl. You could also turn this into a tray if you wanted. And I'll talk more about that later, but you can buy handles. And once this cures for several hours, you could place the handles inside or onto the resin and it would then become a tray. So there's many different things that you can use this mold for. Now I'm gonna take the rest of my black. It's actually a purple black glitter color. It has a lot of the, the purple opal pieces in there, which are really, really pretty. I'm just scraping out all my resin. I don't fill this mold all the way to the top because it's not necessary for the bowl that we are, are creating. Okay, this is where you can now play with the design depending on how you want this to look. I do pull this in on both sides. Just to blend those colors there around the edges. And the way this looks now is not necessarily how it's going to look as a finished product. Because resin moves a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of this black into the white. Now I'm going to pull the white into the center of the black. It's going to start to form its own little shape, take its own shape, almost like a flower. So um, you can do more to that if you want to. You can add little swirls. I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to take my heat gun and pop any of the bubbles that you see. We could add maybe some gold or something in the center, but I'm gonna leave this as it is. I'm gonna add just a little swirl. When you're using your your torch um, be sure not to get too close because you do run the risk of melting your mold into your resin um, which I have done on many occasions and now I am going to cover this with my food tent you can get these on Amazon and I will have links below. And we are going to let this set and cure for about eight hours. Then we're gonna come back and start to mold it into the shape of our bowl. See you in a second. It has been about eight hours or so, and you'll know that your resin project is ready to be pulled out of the mold when you can easily pull it like this. So what we're going to do is take a plastic bowl and we are going to start to mold our resin bowl. So you can take this out of the mold just like this and it doesn't matter which side you choose to do this on but what you're going to want to do is flip this upside down on your 
bowl and then start to mold it. I actually will use some tape to secure the sides onto the bowl. So we're just gonna take a little bit of tape. We're gonna press one side down and just secure that with tape. I am going to do the other side as well. And then we're gonna do these two sides here. So I'm just gonna take this one, press it down onto the bowl and use my tape to secure that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Like that. Now you can leave your bowl like this or if you want to go a little further, you can press these corners here and it's going to give it more of a flower effect. So I am going to press this down and secure with tape. And then I'm going to do the other three sides. Now we are going to let this sit overnight and cure. It's the next morning, so it's time to see what we have. Let's go ahead and peel off all this tape. I'm super excited to see what it looks like. It cured very nicely. It's nice and solid. Um, goodness, we put a lot of tape on this. Okay. And the reason why I use a plastic bowl is so it comes right off and doesn't stick. Look at that. back side the inside let's take it outside and see how it looks the sun isn't shining if it was it would catch all of those pretty opals there look at that I love how this one turned out let me know in the comments what you think and what other colors we should do next. Thanks for watching.